What's up, everyone? Thank you, Anthony C., for this very inspiring opening to Scribble Kibble, a show about animation. I'm making this episode late at night, so this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> the featured animation is Welcome to Hell, and here it is in all of its glory. You know, it feels unfinished story-wise. Not like a cliffhanger, but like somebody is talking and they start to trail off when they're saying and they get quiet, and it's just kind of... Which left me, and probably you, with a lot of questions about this world after finishing the animation. But what surprised me is when I went to go try and find answers, I found out that the animator Erica Wester and the fans of Welcome to Hell are extremely active around this animation even three years later. After I read about how the current iteration of the animation came to be as it is now, I can appreciate it a lot more, especially considering some of the other versions were a lot more Mistopheles-centric. Whereas the current story is all about Sock and Jonathan, who are a lot more relatable to us than the devil. <laughs> well, I hope so anyway. Unlike the majority of animations on Scribble Kibble, Welcome to Hell is drawn on paper. It's colored digitally, and there's digital backgrounds in the second scene, and a little bit of the animation program TV paint hiding in there, but everything else is paper. So, you want to animate on paper. You've got two options. Stack papers together and flip and roll through them with your fingers to check your work as you draw. Or use a light table that shines light through the previous and next drawings so you can see where to put your lines. If you're animating on paper, most people use sheets that have holes in them that fit to a peg bar so the papers stay aligned as you draw and you can flip through them to preview your animation. Now if you're only animating for fun, you don't really need that. You can animate with a stack of regular paper. Either way, handwork is not for the faint of heart. If you learn to animate digitally and you've never touched a pencil test in your life, I suggest trying the flipping and rolling method. Even if it's in your digital program, it forces you to be a better artist. So stop relying on the light table or the onion skin for everything and actually flip through your frames, then go back to the blank canvas with no distracting lines and draw your character fresh. It's painful to do at first. You feel blind without the onion skin. But soon, you will realize all that you've lost by relying on it. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> Welcome to Hell benefits a lot from the unclean pencil sketches. First, because there's no easy way to cheat posing with the digital onion skin, so your acting becomes a lot more interesting. And second, because the pencil lines leave a lot of interesting texture on the drawings, versus that flat look you get with, say, a typical Flash cartoon. I'm sort of reading through the production blog as I talk here, and every so often Erica mentions the daily struggles of an independent animator, and it's all totally true! When you're in college, your job is to make a senior thesis film, which is what Welcome to Hell is. That's all you do. And then you graduate, and you don't have those loans anymore. In fact, you have to pay them off. So you try to make an original cartoon, but most of your time is spent doing art that makes money so you can live day to day. <laughs> oh, but yes, Welcome to Hell 2 is in the works. There's a Patreon for it and a production blog, all that song and dance, plenty of secrets and little tidbits to dig up if you know where to look. I'm going to leave this episode short and sweet. Come back next week for more of this little animation show called Scribble Kibble. Hi everyone, this is Keyframe Production, standing in for Crown Prince. Thank you for watching this episode of Scribble Gibble. Let's look at this fan art. Ooh, yeah, that one's nice. Oh, I love that one. I'm sure this one has dog food in it. It's not like I haven't seen these before. <laughs> the next episode will be about a thing about animation. I mean, every episode is at some point. Hashtag third mistake.